Gold bars, cash, a Mercedes, and bribes. Secret of information being given to Egypt. It's not this weekend's new blockbuster hit. Rather, that is what the Democratic New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, was indicted for earlier today. The senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence to protect and to enrich those businessmen and to benefit the government of Egypt. And breaking this afternoon, we learned that uh, in the past hour here that Menendez is stepping down as the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee until the investigation is resolved. Chris, it feels like the dam is starting to break here a little bit. There's a Democratic member in New Jersey that is calling for his resignation. And here's the governor uh, of that state, Phil Murphy, saying, quote, the alleged facts are so serious that they compromise the ability of Senator Menendez to effectively represent the people of our state. Therefore, I am calling for his immediate resignation. Well, the dam broke on Bob Menendez. What was that, five years ago? <laughs> uh, it ended in 2017. 2017. 2017, and it uh, ended with a hung jury, and, they, and the prosecutors walked away. First case. Uh, and Bob Menendez engaged in conduct that was corrupt. And I, whether it was criminal or not, it was obviously Allegedly. Well, that, no, no, it was corrupt. Whether it was criminal or not, that's a matter for a jury to decide. And in that case, that was about the Dominican Republic and and favors and from uh, his friends, lots of generous friends who want to help powerful people. That's corruption, whether it's a criminal charge or not. So everybody's known for a long time about Bob Menendez. But here's what I figured. Yep. The Justice Department has been under a lot of pressure from they Republicans have. for uh, one a, a two-tiered system of justice, Republicans say. And why, why aren't you coming after Hunter Biden? Well, here's Hunter Biden in the dock. Uh, new charges here. Uh, what about the Democratic corruption? Well, here's Bob Menendez. Now, I'm not saying it's a tit for tat. I'm not saying that they're doing this. Uh, with some intent, I'm not saying Merrick Garland said, "Hey, we got to we got to throw some Rebelous, Democrats Rebelous in the scoreboard. clinker because we, we're prosecuting Trump." But you don't need that conspiracy because what happens is individual members of the Justice Department understand, "Oh yeah, we got to make sure that we're swinging hard on both sides." So this is probably good for uh, America. This is probably good for people's trust and appreciation of the Department of Justice and the, and the judicial system in the United States, and probably long, long overdue, given Bob Menendez's lengthy and enthusiastic skirting <laughs> of, uh, of decency and normal rules of conduct. So when you get calls from the governor to resign, yeah. do, you, like, do, you, do you think there's a clock ticking right now on Bob Menendez or no? Menendez, Chuck Schumer's standing by him. For now. Um, but yeah. with a Democratic governor in New Jersey, uh, and New Jersey not trending Republican anytime soon, right. there's a lot of confidence that, you know, and plus, Democrats don't like Menendez because he bucked them. He's much more foreign policy hawkish. He was a big problem for Barack Obama. He was always undermining Democrats on foreign policy issues in the past. There's a lot of resentment for Menendez, who has, uh, after he got uh, off with the hung jury the last time. Uh, he became an even bigger thorn in the side of Democrats. They're not crazy about him. Uh, I don't think he will have many friends left. Can we, can we talk about the law and the facts, if you will? This is a rerun from 2006, 2012, that ended in 2007. Uh, Menendez, he may be what you say he is, but he's not resigning because he's won on two of these already. You look at these facts of this case and this indictment, it involves his wife a lot, and it also, what honest services did he do, which is defined by the Supreme Court on one of Menendez and Mc Governor McConnell out of uh, Virginia, it's defined by the Supreme Court as an official act. I'm not convinced what they allege in the indictment are, quote, official acts. What's bothersome about this that makes it very different, Chris, is that this involvement with helping uh, Egyptian officials oh, yeah. and sharing mm -hmm. secrets may be the, the, the charge that really gets him, Man, because I, I, that's not our service. we got to run, Banana. I want to give you a word, because I know you got to jump in. Well, it, it, New Jersey, actually, Phil Murphy lost fairly narrowly to his Republican opponent last time. I think uh, the Democrats are looking at Menendez as a liability if he gets out and Murphy can appoint a far superior Democrat successor for the next election, mm -hmm. which is coming up. That's good for the Dems. All right, well Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.